Mescal is a story from Tales from the Crypt number 41, drawn by Graham Ingalls. Hans, a German soldier, is awakened from his nap, ordered to report on enemy positioning in a new area. Crawling through the mud, the area in question is in sight. He must hide as he writes his report, slipping into a shell hole. Someone is in there with him. An enemy soldier. A struggle incurs. Han stabs his nemesis with his bayonet. He stabs him again and again, looking into his adversary's eyes. Hans is horrified. Hans wakes up in a hospital, having dreamt about his violent encounter once again. The doctor clarifies to Hans that even though his mind is traumatized, he is still physically strong and has nothing to worry about. Hans is released into the custody of Heinrich. He is grateful for the shelter and work that Heinrich is providing him. Heinrich is a butcher. During the carriage ride home, he explains that meat is scarce, being rationed. Heinrich's house is massive. The food is savory. The bed is comfortable. Hans lies down for a good night's sleep before his first day of work. He dreams again. Heinrich wakes up Hans, who takes a moment to remember where he is. The two walk to Heinrich's butcher shop. It's hidden from the public, open only to Heinrich's own exclusive customers and friends. He can't have all of Germany at his door. The meat would sell out too fast. The shop is fully stocked. Heinrich invites a customer, Ludmeier, over for dinner. Ludmeier enjoys the fine dining with Heinrich and Hans, but notices Heinrich isn't eating the meat. Heinrich laughs off this observation and gives Ludmeier a tour of the wine cellar. Hans calls it a night. He dreams of the violent trenches. Hans continues helping around the shop. Heinrich boasts about how no other butcher in all of Germany has as much meat as he does. Heinrich invites another customer, Gustav, and his wife over for dinner. Hans once again dines with Heinrich and his friends, and once again Heinrich gives his guests a tour of the wine cellar. Hans heads off to bed. His nightmares get worse. He dreams he is falling before slipping back into his wartime experiences. A sleepwalking Hans enacts his violent memories. Heinrich leads Hans to his assignment, handing him a cleaver. Hans, in his dream state, believes he is back in the shell hole with an enemy soldier. He hacks and stabs at his adversary. Then he stops. Hans's mind snaps back to the present. He holds a cleaver not his bayonet, and stands above a chopping block. Gustav and his wife are dead. Heinrich has taken advantage of Hans's condition, tricking him into killing customers in order to stock the butcher shop with plenty of… human meat. The shock and Heinrich's impending attack send Hans back into the shell hole. The police find our traumatized soldier taking the cleaver to Heinrich. E.C.'s typical tongue-in-cheek writing is practically absent in Mescal. Post-traumatic war stories can be an uncomfortable subject matter, but Tales from the Crypt isn't afraid of the world's darker side. Stories like this make me wish I was a history major so I could offer more insight of the time. But you don't have to be an expert to know that people like Heinrich, who use those with mental struggles as their puppets, are pure evil. This is not the first time we've dealt with cannibalism or a tainted quest for profit. The crypt is intent on making us question our food. Mescal is a brutal, thought-provoking piece to chew on, even if it is difficult to swallow.